Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva and I'm a millennial who is absolutely obsessed with makeup, specifically blushes. And this is another blush video. If you are already subscribed to me and you saw my community tab, I've been picking up a lot of the new blush releases and I asked you guys to vote which one you wanted to see next. And you guys wanted to see the new Lawless Pinch My Cheeks Cream Blushes. So that is what we are going to be reviewing today. I have four shades for you that I'm gonna be swatching on my cheeks. We'll talk all about the formula, give you my first impression, recommendation, or thumbs up, thumbs down, etc. Before we get into it though, if you are not already subscribed, please subscribe and then please follow me on Instagram. It does really help me if you follow me on Instagram. I will have it linked up above and then down below. And yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about the launch. So I, right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you that I think Lawless is one of the most underrated brands out there. I know Lawless is popular and does well, but I don't know, I feel like sometimes their launches don't get the excitement that I think they deserve. So I'm also partial because I'm from San Diego. It's a San Diego brand and yeah, gotta support, you know, hometown brands. But let's talk about the cream blush. So I am a massive fan of their powder blushes. Absolutely love, love, love that formula. So when they announced that they were launching cream blushes, I kind of lost my mind because I love Lawless, I love their blushes, and then I love a cream blush. So I picked up four shades. Um, let's talk about how much they retail for, how many shades, the claims, etc. So I have the Sephora app up to the right of me and let's talk about it. So these are the Pinch My Cheeks Soft Blur Cream Blush. So already we know there's going to be a blurring claim. They retail for $29 and there, there are six shades available. The claims. So it says these are a weightless, creamy, velvet textured, talc-free blush that delivers buildable color to cheeks and lips with cloud-like texture and satin powder finish. Okay. So the claims are that it will be buildable, it is a satin to powder finish, and that it can be worn on the cheeks and the lips. I have been playing around with these a little bit. I did wear one the other night because when I can, I try to avoid first impression videos because I don't think they're super helpful or as helpful as a like full review. So I have been playing around with these and I have to tell you right off the bat, that description is super accurate. It is a very creamy blush that really feels like a powder blush once you apply it to the skin. Now, I try to go into products without, like, first of all, without reading any reviews, and then sometimes I try to avoid actually the description because I want to form my own opinion of, like, what I think the blush is doing or not doing. And so I went in not knowing it was a cream to powder formulation, but immediately upon first swatch, it was very, very accurate. So I did want to call that out. Um, upon first touch, it really reminds me of the LYS or Liss Satin. I think they're the Satin Matte Cream Blushes. They're the ones that come in the little triangle compact and that they're very, very creamy. And then when you apply them, they do turn into more of a powder finish. But this formula is super, super unique in that I don't know how to describe it, but like it just diffuses and blends out like a powder immediately. There are other blushes where, in my opinion, you they have that cream to powder claim, but I almost feel like they have to sit on the skin for a little bit before they get that powder feel. But these are instantaneous. So right off the bat, I would say that claim is accurate. Now, before we get into the swatches, I do want to show you my arm. I did swatch all of these maybe like 10 minutes ago because I wanted to see how they would set on the arm. Don't worry, we'll do better arm swatches in a little bit, but I want to go ahead and actually like swipe my finger along it because I'm very intrigued to see if these have like a staining effect, when I wore them, when I wore one the other night, 
that was the impression I got is that it was also a little bit of a cheek stain but I didn't like you know rub to see if that was the case so let's go ahead and just do the zoom you in and I know this is I know this is like per usual another chaotic Evo review where we're kind of just rambling but we're gonna go with it okay so I have all the shades swatched here hopefully you can see okay interesting okay so it did I mean blend a little bit or rather you can see in here a little bit of like the diffusion when I where I rubbed my finger through it but I don't know I feel like it's like kind of leaving behind a little bit of a stain so you can see there we have a little bit of a stain going but I'm kind of rambling and getting off topic. Let's go through the different shades. So I'm gonna keep you zoomed in as we go through the shades. Let's start with Cherry Pie. So Cherry Pie is this really pretty, like cherry slash, I would say like kind of watermelony color. This is what she looks like on the finger very very pretty and then we will go ahead and let's just do a hand swatch here so not overly pigmented I'm really glad I picked up this darker shade I was a little bit scared because it is very bright but it's not overwhelming I think this is going to be a really really buildable buildable formula okay so that was cherry pie now let's move into rosebud rosebud is this like very pretty rosy mauve shade let's go in with a different finger here we go and i'll swatch it to the right of cherry pie so this one's obviously more subtle than cherry pie. It's kind of blending in with my hand a little bit. Let's do angel right after that because angel is pretty similar in like, it's pretty similar in tone. I mean, it's another like nudie pinky shade. Here it is. And then I will go ahead and swatch it right next to rosebud. So here we have Angel, and then here we have Rosebud. And again, don't worry, I will do up close arm swatches as well, in addition to these not so great hand swatches. Okay, then the last shade I picked up is this really pretty coral shade that I thought would be super pretty for summer, and it is the shade Starburst. I love that shade name because I am obsessed with Starburst. Starburst is definitely my favorite candy. Okay, so we get this really pretty, it's not quite like a tangerine, it's like a, in between a peach and a tangerine, I would say. Very, very pretty. I feel like you don't always see corals this shade. It's very much like a tangerine meets peach, really in between shade. Okay, then we are going to swatch that one right here. Okay, so there we have Starburst. My Canon camera crashed. If you've been here before, something is wrong with my camera. The second I bought this new Canon camera, it just stopped working, and no one at Canon can help me. It's very annoying. Anyways, we're back to the Sony camera. Hopefully the quality is okay. I have removed what I had on my face previously, added a little bit of my Vanessa Myrick's Yummy Skin, and we are going to go in with the face swatches. So let's go ahead. I think we should do the two really similar shades first. So those would be Rosebud and Angel. Before we do the cheek swatches, though, let's do some up-close comparisons here. Okay. On the right, we have Angel, or on my right, and then on the left here, we have Rosebud. 
So they're similar in the sense that they are like within the nude pinkish family, but in the pan next to each other, they look quite different. So be interested to see how that translates to the face. I'm going to go in with one of my favorite blush brushes from LYS Beauty. And we are going to go ahead and just start tapping away. I don't know what's going on. My camera keeps like doing a weird focus thing. So bear with me, bear with me. Okay, so I went pretty heavy with the application because I wasn't really paying attention. I was too angry that my camera keeps like defocusing. That took one second to blend out. Let me go in with my mirror to see if it's actually blended. It looks blended in the viewfinder. Oh no, okay, that's not really blended. And we applied a little bit too much, so I'm cleaning off my brush um, in an attempt to be able to blend a little bit further. Okay, if I'd applied a normal amount, that would have blended really beautifully, but I like to do my clown cheek swatches to make it easier for you guys to actually see the color. So here we have Angel. Very, very pretty. And then on my right side, we are going to go ahead and go in with Rosebud. Picked up quite a bit of product. Okay, I really wasn't looking when I applied these. Okay, looking like a clown swatch, but I can definitely notice the difference between the two shades. So clown swatches for the win in that sense. Again, not blended out, but you should be able to see the color. So now we have, we have rosebud on this cheek. So again, comparing angel, rosebud. And looking in the mirror, the way I would describe them is I would describe Angel as peachier and nudier, whereas Rosebud, you're going to get a lot more pink. These definitely look very different on the face, especially like looking up close in my mirror. If you tend to prefer like a peachier, nudier one, you will want to pick up Angel. If you like something that's a little bit rosier and a little bit more on like the pink mauve side, you will want to pick up Rosebud. Now, as far as like the blurring effect, these are really blurring. Like, I, there is such a unique formula in my opinion, because as I mentioned earlier, when you apply them, they like immediately turn to a powder finish much quicker than any other like cream to powder blush I've ever experienced. Just kind of blending out further with my fingers. And yeah, these are really, really, really pretty. I'm very jazzed about these. Okay, I'm going to remove these two shades and then we're gonna come back for the next two shades. We are back, the Dessa Myricks Yummy Skin reapplied and we are gonna go in with the next two shades. So next up we have Starburst, which is that beautiful, like perfect in between a tangerine and a peach. And it's not quite a coral. I don't know how to describe it, but it is just, I don't know, I feel like it's a really unique, corally, orangey shade. Brush is relatively clean. And let's go in, let's do it on the right side. Sorry, I do not know why my camera, this camera is acting up too, and I fortunately don't have time to like do a ton of tech troubleshooting tonight. I gotta get this film, so please bear with me, I'm sorry. I take like camera quality really seriously, so I don't know what's going on here.
we overdid it with the application, you know, per usual, but this is such a beautiful shade. So this is the shade Starburst. Really, really pretty. And then on this side, we are gonna apply cherry pie and this was the one that I applied the other night when I was testing this and I really I really loved it it was like a very fun kind of like sunburnt perfect juicy summer red this one I'm not going to go too overboard with because I want you to be able to see just how wearable this shade is oh my god this color is to die for absolutely stunning so this is pretty subtle i want you to see how subtle it is and then i'll build it up more to show you how buildable this formula is so here is cherry pie and then let me just like build 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 so you can really start to see that color So here it is, more built up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove one of these so that I'm wearing the same color cheek and then we're gonna come back and do more swatches and talk more about the formula. I applied Cherry Pie to the other half of my face. Absolutely in love with this color. Um, I did wanna also try these on the lips because that was one of the claims and I find a lot of times these claims about blush also working on the lips sometimes they're false and they look terrible on the lips so I thought I would test one of these out. Okay the texture on the lips is really interesting it reminds me of like a K-Beauty like blurring balm if you're familiar that's how I would describe it on the lips it's like a very blurring effect very pretty um just like not practical I'm not going to bring this with me and like put my grubby hands in it throughout the day to reapply but I will say it is very pretty on the lips a lot of times when products claim they're multi-use I put them on the lips and they look just dry and gross but this one I would say is a multi-use product okay let's talk a little bit more about my thoughts before we move into some comparisons so my initial impression is I'm really, really pleased with these, especially the shades I picked up. I think they're super, super pretty. Um, I love how buildable they are. If I were to just recommend one from the four that I picked up, I would definitely recommend Cherry Pie because I think it's kind of rare to find a red like this that can work on fair skin tones and one that is so buildable. So if you're just gonna get one shade, I would pick up, of the, excuse me, of the ones I picked up, I would pick up Cherry Pie, especially for summer. But then I did really enjoy all of the shades I picked up. What I'm gonna do now is I'm now going to do some more up close arm swatches so you can actually see the colors there. And then I want to grab the LYS formula and do some like texture comparisons because this formula is unique no other cream bronzers no other cream blushes that i have are immediately coming to mind as being similar except for the lys or the list um compact satin matte blushes so we will do that next after the arm swatches here we have cherry pie followed by starburst and then we have angel and rosebud. Now I know in the swatches these look super super similar but I will say on the cheeks they pulled very differently for me. So Angel pulled way more nude, almost like nudish corally, and then rosebud pulled way pinker on me. I went to my little blush archive and as I was over there pulling out the LYS blush, 
I came across two other formulas that I think are going to be pretty similar. So we'll do a little bit of swatching and testing. Um, the other formulas I pulled in addition to the LYS one are the Polite Society Blush Sticks. I love these. If you didn't watch my big blush review video I did last quarter covering basically every blush that launched in 2024 so far. These are amazing. And then I also grabbed one of the um Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Bombs because based on my recollection they were a similar kind of texture of a cream to a powder. Let's start off though with LYS. This is the shade Classy. I just grabbed shades. I wasn't like trying to necessarily match them to the Lawless ones. Okay, so we picked up the product. It is you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab another shade next to it. Okay, the lawless ones are a little creamier. A little creamier. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the LYS one here. And then we're gonna apply a lawless one here. Okay, so right off the bat, I think one of the biggest differences is that the lawless ones right when you lay them down are much matter than the LYS ones. Like the LYS ones, oh my god, sorry, camera's being crazy. Um, when you like blend them out, they do definitely become more of a powder. But right off the bat, the lawless ones are just powdery. Like I blended these out and you can see just how much more pigmented the LYS ones are and also they still have like more of a like cream finish as opposed to the lawless ones. So they're similar but they're not identical in formula. The LYS ones are more pigmented and do have a little bit more like say shine to them than the lawless ones. Okay, the other formula that I mentioned that I grabbed are the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Melting Color Bombs. This is the shade 50. And I thought these would maybe be similar, but upon me revisiting them, I would say the formula is different. Um, they're a little bit like moosier to the touch and they're definitely more of stronger like powder versus cream. Like when I touch the Lawless blushes, for me it's not evident that it's going to turn into a powder, whereas these are like already partially powdered. It's kind of hard to explain, but we will go ahead and do a swatch here. Oh, that's interesting. So the swatch is pretty similar to the Lawless ones in that it already is matte and it's already starting to act like a powder. So I just did like a little blending here and the way it's behaving is very similar to the Lawless ones. So not the same formula but very similar upon swatch. Um, I would say also like pigmentation levels pretty similar and that this is more of a buildable formula. So if you like this formula, I think you will really like the Lawless ones. And then last but not least, because boy, do I love these little Polite Society blushes, is the Polite Society, I don't remember the exact name, but they are like a cream to powder blush stick. So they come in these adorable, honestly, what reminds me of, I don't know, like Push Pops. You're a kid from the 90s, you remember Push Pops, those definitely rotted our teeth. Um, we will go ahead and swatch this right here. Okay, that was the world's worst swatch. Um, yeah, that was terrible. Let's go ahead and instead swatch it here. Okay. Pigment level is very similar, so I'm like contorting, is similar to the Lawless ones, as in it's 
lighter on the pigmentation side, super blendable. These are really, really similar. I'm gonna swatch this kind of next to another of the Lawless ones. Okay, this is really similar. The biggest difference I would say is it's not as creamy upon first touch and first application. What makes, I know I'm like ugh, a broken record by now, but what makes the Lawless ones so unique is that they feel so creamy at first and then they immediately turn powder, whereas these feel more powder up front. And like one of the things that I like about the Lawless ones is because they're so creamy, I feel like you can have the flexibility of applying them like you would like a really creamy, juicy cream blush, but then you get the blendability of a powder. I might not be making any sense. To me, it makes sense in my head, but you might be like, none of this is making any sense. So to be honest, in conclusion, I would say while the Polite Society and the Giorgio Armani ones are similar, the Lawless ones are still different. I don't know. They're different in a really good way. I would say they're way more subtle from a color perspective and yeah, they're really, really creamy upon first application. Now, if you really like the Armani ones and then the Polite Society ones, I definitely think you would like the Lawless ones. I also think if you've never tried like a cream to powder formulation, you would still really like these because they have that flexibility of being super creamy upon first like swipe. I don't know, I'm, I'm probably not making any sense, but in conclusion, I really like the Lawless launch. Like I do think the formula is actually innovative. When I first saw the launch before reading the description, I was like, oh gosh, is this just gonna be like another Tower 28 type, like juicy, creamy blush, which I do love, but I like that they actually did something different. And I keep like admiring my complexion in the mirror over here because it really is very, very like melt into your skin, blurring, blendable, really, really pretty. I would say this is a really unique formula and I would recommend checking it out. Just pick up one, see if you like the formula. Pick up that cherry pie one, it's a lot of fun. Um, the one thing I cannot comment on is longevity because I wore one the other night, but I wore it for like three hours before bed. Um, so what I will do is tomorrow, I will wear one of these all day and then I will make a note in the description letting you know how they wore and if there was any sort of like issue with them um but yeah that's it for the lawless review um a little all over the place per usual because that's my style but i'm excited about these i'm like tempted to pick up more shades but i need to not because i have more blushes than i could i could literally i i, I have more blushes than i can handle um but I will also be doing reviews of the House Labs one soon. And then um, I have other blushes I've been picking up from the drugstore, etc. So we're probably going to need to do another huge blush comparison video because they're just out of out of control. Um, but if you stuck through this video this long, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. If you have any um, comparisons you want me to do for the Lawless blushes, leave them in the comments below and then I can do a comparison post on Instagram right back letting you know it's there. Um, but yeah, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in my next video.